Hello, Father James Kubicki here on one of the biggest feast days of saints in our church calendar, the Solemnity of Saints Peter and Paul. Today in Rome, all the archbishops who have been appointed in the past year will be in Rome to receive the pallium, a band of lamb's wool which is also worn by the Pope and is a visible sign of their unity with him. Unity is one of the most important signs of the church and each of us is called to pray and to work for the visible unity of all Christians. Shortly after he was elected, Pope Benedict XVI talked about the importance of his role as the visible sign of Christian unity. He said, quote, I ask you to pray that Saints Peter and Paul obtain for me the grace to carry out faithfully the pastoral ministry entrusted to me. As Bishop of Rome, the Pope carries out a unique and indispensable service to the Universal Church. He is the perpetual and visible principle and foundation of the unity of the bishops and of all the faithful. Starting with the martyrdom of Peter and Paul, all the churches began to look to Rome as a central reference point for doctrinal and pastoral unity. May the Virgin Mary obtain for us the desire that the ministry of the Bishop of Rome not be seen as a stumbling block, but as a support on the journey to unity and help us to achieve Christ's desire as soon as possible. Ut unum sint, end quote. Those Latin words are from the Gospel of St. John, the Last Supper, when Jesus prayed that all may be one. And so we pray today for church unity and for Pope Francis. May the holy apostles Peter and Paul intercede for Pope Francis and for all Christians that we may be, as Jesus prayed, one, just as he and the Father are one. Amen.